Nancy Handabile and I am one of the directors for Ticula Season 2. Directing for me is an art form. It's a way of telling stories in a way that is entertaining, profound and artistically pleasant to look at. And I think that's what I try to bring to this show as well as trying to bring out the best performances that I can from the cast and the best performances that I can bring out from the crew. The main thing I think for me that was challenging is that um, I haven't worked with a predominantly young cast in a while. The story is young, it's hip, it's cool. And needless to say that I had to sort of uh, take myself back to when I was young, you know, to really understand my characters, to think of my characters in a way that I used to think. And so I really had to take myself back. I had to talk to younger people. I had to consult with other younger people. And yeah, I think that it was a learning curve for me, but it was really great. My name is Harrington Amunji. I'm one of the directors on Tikula, uh, season one and season two as well. Tikula is a teen drama series that is anchored on Sky's core messaging of being true to yourself, uh, self-discovery, um, identity, as well as uh, being confident and knowing what you want and what you don't want. So the characters in Tikula go through a lot of phases and a lot of uh, situations or difficulties that viewers can relate with and also help them discover who they are and know what they want at the end of the day. Sky Girls is all about friendship and making meaningful connections, self-discovery and that those messages are enhanced in Stikula. Um, we see friendship becoming stronger in season two, we don't see a lot of fights, even the fights that are there are resolved and um, we try as much as possible to inspire young girls to support each other and stay true to themselves. My name is Leona Victoria Kuerinyanise and I play Nandile Ziwa on Tikula. Obviously, I'm very excited because I never expected season two to come back. So now that it's back, it's just really good that I get to be with my friends acting again, being back on screen, the experience and all that stuff, it's actually very, very good. I feel very happy. Tukula is important because it empowers girls to be able to believe in themselves, to go for what they want and to stay true to themselves. And this is portrayed in Tukula where our characters face a lot of challenges. They make difficult decisions. Uh, they go through peer pressure. And these are some of the issues that most of our viewers pick lessons from. And that's what we want, so that they can apply in their lives and make better choices or believe in themselves. Stand by. Action. Fish. Do you have an answer for me? Um, I need a moment. I just need to... Nandi, come on. Is it a yes or a no? No! No? Can we do that again? Continue holding my hands. is Machema Senkala. I'm a writer and director on Tikula season one and two. The most interesting thing about Tikula is how all of our characters are relatable. Um, in both season one and season two, our strongest points were that um, teenagers mostly and also like people of any age could see themselves in any of the characters in the show. So I feel like 
our selling point, our most interesting point are that it's a Zambian story, it's unique because it's a teen drama which has sort of like never been done before and people are getting to relive or reimagine their high school lives. Hey what's up, this is Magnus Mando aka Mag44 and I am a music producer. Uh, so on the Tikula series my job was to handle the scores and the soundtracks that you hear. So the scores are basically the emotion music that you hear throughout the series and uh, the soundtracks are the songs that are performed in the series. So uh, my job was to make sure that everything is great on the show with regards to music. A uh, big inspiration for the music was, I guess, just Africanness, uh, uh, fusing modern urban uh, youth culture and African uh, and African culture. Uh, so if you see even with the way the students dress, um, they have a bit of chitenge on their uh, normal school uniform. And so what we wanted to do is match the sound to that. And um, I think we did quite, quite an, uh, a good job. You should watch it to see. Uh, and of course, our executive producer, Kathy Piri, uh, really cast the vision well on all of us. And we had a full understanding of what uh, we were trying to achieve and just create this uniformity with the picture and, and the sound. Yeah. So working with first time actors, working with, the first, with, with an artist for the first time is always a bit of a challenge because you don't know what to expect. You know, there's different things going through uh, our minds, you know, for first timers, they are, you know, thinking if, if, the, if it's their first time in a studio, how do they place themselves? How do they behave? And then, of course, my my uh, worry is: Do these guys suck? Because you know, it's it's hard to find talent that can sing and act. You usually just find one of each. Uh, so, of course, that's a concern. And you know, we start to think: Okay, well, how are we going to manage this? Uh, but then, the, the the actors in Tikula did an amazing job. I feel. Uh, thankfully, most of them could sing, most of them could dance. So even Fassi, our choreographer, you know, had, had a great time uh, putting the dances together. Uh, and, and, and we had a great time, of course, recording and, and, and writing together with, uh, with the actors. I feel like with season two, it's been very... We've, we've worked together from pre-production to production itself to in, in, into post-production. The entire team from the video guys, the sound, everyone has sort of been in sync and the vision has been running through everyone and it has become the DNA of, of everyone um, who's, who's been part of the production. Uh, and I feel like, you know, as much as the, a lot of the actors were first timers, they, the, the vision was, was, was clear to them and they knew exactly what to do. And, uh, you know, the harmony was, was definitely there. The guys were catching on to things quickly. Uh, lots of preparation, of course, in, in pre-production, um, which, which was a, a big help to executing the, the entire uh, shoot and, and, and also in, in going into post. Hi, my name is Chisanga Taylor and I play Mimi on Tikula. So my audition process was quite long. I had about three auditions to get the role. At first when I auditioned, I wasn't even auditioning for Mimi, one of the main three parts. It was actually for Kelly. Um, and then when I got in and they could like, I guess they liked me and they thought, oh, maybe we should get this, try and put in other situations. And the next thing I knew, I was one of like the main roles, which was like super cool. Um, so yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it. A lot of singing involved, a lot of improv, a lot of thinking on your feet. On your feet. Um, so yeah, it was cool. Well, the best thing that I enjoy most on Tikula in terms of acting is that I get to play a version of myself that I wasn't in high school because um, I wasn't all like I could say I wasn't insecure, but we were all insecure when we were young. So having to play a part where I really dove into those insecurities and how I was how I really wasn't like and how I guess I could have been like it's a cool way of seeing it. Nandi <laughs> Nandi are you sure about this? Nandi Nandi you said so yourself you want ghost to be your date. I do but <sighs> I feel like I've lost him. Oh, good this time. Oh, Nandi. Oh, 
Come on, let's go have fun. The difference between season one and season two is that a lot of our characters have growth. In season one, we were meeting the characters, we were getting to know them and how they think and how they react to situations. In season two, we amped up the drama, put them in more compromising situations. We introduced new characters. Um, we increased or like we have more music, more dancers. So it's just overall an exciting and amped up version of season one um, that sort of like speaks to character development and how characters have changed. Hi, my name is Achawana Christlike. I am the director of photography for Tikula season two. My execution plan as the director of photography for Tikula season two was, uh, I noticed a lot of uh, director of photographies don't really like to move their camera. So I wanted to have a lot of motivation behind the movements to help drive the story. Cause you know, if, if, if you're trying to Feel a character. You need certain motion. Characters are not static life. If you're watching through the lens of another person, you see with movement. So I wanted to incorporate that as much as possible into the shots. You know, uh, a lot of um, a nice seamless cutting as opposed to the standard wide close up, close up. So my approach was really for us how do we push the story by moving the camera? Tickle is a youthful, vibrant high school show. Um, we don't have a lot of that, I think, yet in Zambia. We have a lot of grown shows, if I should say. So Tikula really comes with a different, fresh approach in terms of uh, catching a younger audience. So the impactfulness I would like it to have is to show the young people out there that it's possible. They too can do it from learning from the show and also being a character on the show. It gives you that hope that you could be that star as well. And, and just the message it carries is, is, is a message of growth. So we want teenagers to know that it's okay to go through certain things, uh, you know, then you grow from it. And that's why it's Tikula, because that's that's what it is. So to impact these young people in that way. Producing for an album and producing for TV has some differences. Of course, with both, you're producing music, you're producing a body of music. Uh, but I think the big difference is that normally when you're producing for an artist, it's usually the vision of the artist that you're just, you know, building on. But in this case, there's a whole machine going on. So, of course, the executive producer uh, guides the entire process. But, I mean, there's, uh, the story has already been told and you need to now fit the music into, into this story, you know. Uh, but, thankfully, of course, the executive producer and the directors already considered music in the in the series it wasn't just random and say oh let's put a song here it was very intentional and so that helped a great deal on what kind of music we're going to write for which scene and uh, so i think the difference is just obviously the team is massive <laughs> you're looking at you, you know, you're not just, you have to make a song that's going to be appropriate for the shoot, has to be appropriate for the scene. Uh, you have to think, okay, if I'm gonna do a song, where is this song being sung? Is it being sung at the school ground? So you have to consider how it's going to sound in the school ground. You have to consider uh, the, 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 you have to consider the situation. You know, you have to consider that it's, it's, it's kids singing the song, or well, young, young adults anyways. So, um, so there, there is a lot more moving parts than, than recording for an album, I feel. So, um, yeah, so it was, but it was a great experience altogether because like I said, <laughs> from the top, from the top uh, to the bottom, um, the vision was very clear of what we're all trying to achieve and we all just fed into, uh, into that, uh, that vision, yeah. What's up everyone? My name is Tulani Nkoma and I play the role of Bosco on Tikula. My experience working on season 2 Tikula has been nothing sort of amazing and transforming, seeing as to how each one of us as characters have grown. Yeah. The best part of my job is that I get to be someone else. Yeah, like my character is not so different for me, but at least there's different parts of my character that I wouldn't do in my real life. So it gives me the opportunity, like an open window to be someone else. Well, now that I think about it, guys, I think I heard it wrong. You know I'm new at this detective thing, guys. Bosco, really? Now I'm in big trouble. What kind of trouble? Kelly, Kelly, I'll show you. Stick to being a prefect. Student council is mine. I'm perfect for this, huh? 
as compared to season one, season two has told me that as an actor, you're supposed to be ready to uh, take on any challenge that has been thrown at you. Because first of all, when you come on set, you're not yourself, you're gonna be playing a different character. And whatever the character has been written to do, you're supposed to be ready to take it on. And as characters, we develop. Like for my character, I never used to play, in season one, I never played basketball, I never did anything like sports. But season two, it was thrown at me and I couldn't deny it because it's character development. My name is Kasa and I'm a technical director on this project. You know, coming here, I was thinking to myself, I probably would have a lot of um, problem with the actors. You know, being first time actors, this is a sec the second season, but there's still new actors and, you know, majority of them, if not all of them, um, is not trained. So I was thinking, well, it was gonna be rough, but, um, it really turned out great, and it, I, I, I find that if you can keep the people, you know, make the character closer to the personality of the people, then the, the, the actors, then they wouldn't have to do too much acting. Hello, my name is Moaka Halwindi, and I play the role Namaya. Maya is bringing a lot of realness. She's a very real person, very lovable, and she's a very strong person. She's dynamite, is what I call her. She's a girl of many talents and a person who's very, very hardworking. Despite her upbringing, despite her home situation, she, does, she doesn't have money like all her friends or some of her friends. So she really defeats all stereotypes to say, no, you need this, you need that. She's a very focused person. So she's here to tell you, work hard for what you want. I feel season two is very much relatable. I've watched season one, the whole of it, and acting season two felt really personal. Like everything that all of us were going through is literally everything we go through in real life. So there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of real, real situations and I'll emphasize on this. It's content that will touch the heart and I hope you guys take a lot of lessons from it. Hi guys, my name is Tatiana Kalanda and I play Tasha on Tikula. My feelings when I found out season two were returning. Of course, the first thing is to call your castmates like, I'm seeing you soon. We're going to be back together in those school uniforms soon. I think I was extremely excited especially to know what the storyline was, where things were going this time around. And I think the last season came out a year ago. So even us as people, we have grown and we have changed. And we also just missed each other. So we were all excited excited to get onto set, see the new scripts, the new outfits, the new people. And the whole situation was just extremely a happy moment for all of us and we were excited and I can't wait for it to finally air. What has changed the Tikula storyline compared to season one is first, you have more people. That is one. You have more people in our cast, firstly, and you dive more into the lives of each character individually. Of course, you get to see more of Kelly. You get to see, even this season, I believe Tasha and Bosco do some comedy, honestly, together this season. You get to see more of Ghost and see where he comes from. So I just believe this season gives more insight on who the characters are and their storylines. I feel like it then makes the one look like, okay, this was the introduction. Now here's the main story and here's the body of season one. As you can see, through my magic little mirror, I was able to ascertain who's going to the dance with who. Oh, please, Kelly. Wait, why does my name have the question mark? Uh, because you don't have a date. You wish? Of course I've got a date. You do? Yeah. Who is it? You all see him at the dance. My name is Kamal Ibrahim and I play Ghost on Tikula. The toughest part at the, about the roles I played, I, I think that would be just the hours that we had to be on set, being on set from four in the morning, being picked up at four in the morning and getting back home at like 21, it was crazy. I really enjoyed just diving into the scripts and seeing what the next episode is gonna be, seeing what, you know, what issue Nandi's gonna get herself into, just reading the scripts, because I read them page for page, every draft. 
In season two, I feel like we dive more into Ghost's emotions, you know, he, his family life, and that's, that's what he brings, you know, the more, the complexity that this, this season is gonna bring adds to that. So the biggest thing that I would say to someone that wants to pursue acting is to remember that rejection is a part of acting. You have to remember that you're not going to get every role you audition, you're not going to get every single thing that you think that you can get or that you think that you would be perfect for. At the end of the day, it's more the director's decision of whether they would like you or not. And it's not that you're bad, it's more that you just don't fit their vision. So until you find the role that fits the vision of the director, just keep trying. I would want uh, the viewers to take back with them messages of staying true to themselves, um, of wanting more or striving for more, of building friendships and relationships that are long lasting, learning how to um, deal with challenges both as an individual and as a group and come out of them in a positive way. How I would want Tikola to impact the viewers it will give you a light, it will give you a direction, sense of direction, especially if you're a big dreamer, if you're a person of chance, it will show you that no matter your circumstances, you are capable. And if you have a good circle around you, good friends, trust me, the people around you mold and form who you are. So Tikula just expresses that and shows that even as young teenagers, we dream and aspire to be whatever we want to be, and you can be that. I think what we want to see with Chikula is girls becoming more confident themselves, um, deciding what they want, making choices independently, uh, believing in themselves and going for what they want in life.